and welcome to Urban Caffeine. My name is Thea and welcome to my channel. Public transportation and communal living has just been the way of life in New York City. It's been like that since the early Dutch settlers of the 1600s. And there's the old generation of public transportation. Think subways, ferries, buses, taxis, and even horse-drawn carriages. And there's also this new generation of public transportation. Think Uber, Lyft, and their equivalents. And there's also rentable mopeds city bikes, and soon to come in the Bronx, the rentable scooters. And in this video, we are going to talk about the city bike. And to talk about the city bikes, we are headed to Long Island City. Long Island City is interesting because it's not geographically centered. It sits just right outside of Manhattan and it's on the very eastern portion of Queens. And even though it's not geographically centered, it's centralized in terms of transportation. It has six subway lines, two ferry stops, a station for the Long Island Railroad, and has plenty of these rentable mopeds and city bikes. And that's where we're headed to today. If you walk around New York City, it's hard not to run across one of these. This bike share system launched in 2013 and is the largest in the nation. They are available 24 hours a day, every day of the year. You can find these all over Manhattan, parts of Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, and Jersey City. The idea is that you can take a bike from one docking station and park it to another near your destination. It's a way of biking through the city without owning a bike. And there are two types of bikes, the classic human-powered kind that relies on your morning breakfast and leg strength, and the electric kind that won't cause you to sweat as much. So we're in Long Island City and we are looking for the rentable city bikes. We found them right in front of the library. Not many bikes left. So this is the problem. Sometimes there aren't any bikes, or when you get to your destination, there aren't any bike, there aren't any slots to put bikes in. You can use this kiosk, or you can use our own app. You can pay City Bike directly, or you can use the Lyft app, which I prefer because I already have it. On a classic bike, the first 30 minutes is a flat rate of $3.50. After the first 30 minutes, it's an additional $0.18 cents per minute. If you are using an e-bike, you pay an additional $0.18 cents per minute on top of the initial $3.50. In the Lyft app, click on the bottom to find bikes. Pick the location you want to pick up a bike. Then either scan the QR code on that bike or manually enter the number associated with that bike. The bike will be released from the dock and the timer on your app will start. The bikes have a bell, tension adjuster, and adjustable seat heights. So you need to adjust this. We are going to bike up and down Gantry Park.
simply dock your bike to end the timer in your app. Make sure the green light goes on. This is very important because if the bike is not docked properly, your rental time keeps ticking in the app and someone else could potentially ride the bike on your dime. So there you have it, how to rent a city bike. Next time you want to go enjoy a beautiful day in the city, consider taking a city bike. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to my channel to learn more about city transportation and New York City in general. Until next time, happy New Yorking.